He took excerpts of a private conversation, man, and took them out of context. I, w- I would ask any of you guys that doubt what I'm saying to ask Alan to post the whole conversation, the entire conversation. All right. You know, I didn't want to show our entire conversation. Some people might be hurt by what is said in this video. And for that, I'm sorry. But since viewers asked me to post the whole video, prompted by Michael's accusations of cherry-picking, lying, manipulating, and then challenging me to share the whole private conversation, here it is. All right. Okay, what are we talking about today, brother? Uh, I, I was going to start off like, if we ask... Um like how how was your week? I was going to talk about a, a conversation. You no, know, you you meet people too, like Jason or uh, Sean, and then came out to you your place and talking. So I had one last night, and we sat around. It was just the guy wanted to meet me. I was like, yeah, whatever. Sometimes I'm into it, sometimes I'm not. But man, he ended up being a, we hung out for a really long time. But then I was we could talk about communication because when you guys were away at the relocation retreat doing some sort of activity kind of got into it with uh, three of the attendees and Jeannie talking about politics and you know how actually Jeannie lost her mind dude did she, she lost her you you got into yeah, you get got, got into talking politics got, with Jeannie and she went nuts she got Trump she's got Trump uh, derangement yeah dang I mean she I'm not saying whatever but I, I'm just saying she literally you know hates you know, like can't understand why somebody might even vote for Trump. Really? Yeah, she got, I mean, very mad. Like he's gonna lock up people. He's not never gonna give up presidency. He's trying to do this and this. I'm like, wow, where are you hearing this shit, man? Dang, you're dang, dang. Anyway, but kind of about how you, we can talk. Some people get along. Some people uh, just, you know, it was fun having a conversation in English where we both were on the same page, just talking about stuff we were both interested in. How my how it's important to you know find those outlets here, but it, it can go anywhere. I mean, we could just keep going with whatever yeah. mm-hmm. how it goes out, but just along those lines somewhere. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. So, uh, oh, no, by the way, any, we, we could do anything. I don't care. Okay. Oh, you, oh, by the way, Sarah said, um, I don't know how you do this because I don't understand this the uh, the fine points, but she said, I guess you sold a uh, you sold a retreat. And she said, "Well, have him sell it sell it at this one, and then you know he's going to be speaking anyway, and just that that, you know, like if we can get it over to well, Matt, uh, Matt's well, trying to talk us. Matt's trying to talk us into you know doing like one more chance, and uh-huh. it's not going to happen because I, I I got that shit last night in email, dude. I got shit from one of the attendees last night. Really? About what? Yes." Stomach. Stomach issues. And but and so what? They blaming it. They blame that. <laughs> Roxanne wrote me and she's waiting for her uh, refund. <laughs> Roxanne. The bitch, Karen. Oh. <laughs> her husband. <laughs> the complainer. Yeah. Now that's funny, huh? That I mean so that. I don't know. What, that is mind blowing. If that can work, I don't know how you can. Even if you want to do that, but well, I mean, saying, yeah, but what's uh, let's try to get the retreat over to ours, and then he's going to be speaking. So I don't know. Uh huh. Uh, so, hang on. Here, <laughs> uh huh. I, I got a I got a technical issue on on my other screen that I'm trying to. Uh, hang on a second. Here. Okay, I gotta go put a shirt on anyway. All right, so but if you want to bring up if you want to bring up something else, go ahead. I don't care. No, uh, what we talk about it'll, it'll it'll make more sense though when I do it because I'm going to talk about. Oh man, I had this great thing last night with this guy, and it's just kind of nice to have a, you know, talk English, mm-hmm. you know, with somebody that gets you, and and then go into some other stuff about communication, whether it's Spanish or mm-hmm. English. Or, well, let's let or me... we can go. Go where you want to go. I don't care. Yeah. Well, let me go back because I, I I wasn't paying attention here. I was I had some issues I was working on. So you said you was going to contact Sarah, and uh, and of I course did. you know. I did. So but so so what's what's the deal? Well, she wants you to present. That's that's all I know. You know. So 
That's it. She, so she know. wants me to present. Kind of, so okay. So what? I'm gonna travel over there and present. What? Am am I like not part of this retreat? Uh, I don't know. I don't as, as part of, of of what? I mean, she's doing it. Well, to be honest with you, I well, no, no, tell you what's going on. She's doing it. No, you and her are doing it. I mean, it's like you know, for me, I'd have been like if Sarah would have approached me because I'm like you and I are friends. I mean, if Sarah would have approached me and I said like, well, Sarah, this sounds good, but wait a minute. Let's get Michael on the phone because, you know, uh, the three of us do this retreat. The reason it's a success is the three of us did this. I mean, you know, when Matt contacted me, originally I'm like, nah, I said, this ain't my thing. And he contacted me again months later. I'm like, look, I'll do it. I says, but you contact Michael Allen. You contact Sarah. Get them on board. I'll do the retreat. And so Sarah had quit. Yeah, she did the first three by herself. And that's the reason she quit. And I says, but look. It will be great if we can get the three of us on board. So the three of us are doing this retreat. Well, that's not what I'm hearing. I, what? I, am I just a presenter? Well, I guess then we are. You are gonna. Have, or I'll have Sarah call you or contact you because I'm not. Again, you you probably are thinking I'm more involved than I am. Uh, I am doing the logistics of the hotel and I am getting transportation. But she just tells me what she's doing. She said. Uh, last night that she's got all the all the fine points with money and she's going to contact the hotel she's keeping me up on what she's doing that part's true so 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 tell me leave so i think it'd be better if i'm just going to tell her to call talk to you and 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 whatever that is i don't know so i don't know well wait a minute michael i mean i invited you and sarah on this thing and then a couple of months later, when she got attacked, she quit. She's like, I'm not doing this again. And we encouraged her. You can do this. You can do this. Okay. And I mean, don't you remember, we're all giving Sarah $200 a pop. And you're like, I ain't giving that little bitch anything. I mean, she ain't doing nothing. I would rather give you, Alan, because you're doing all the work. I mean, do you not remember that conversation? I totally remember that conversation. But, but wait a minute. Now, at what point did you not say, well, Alan's my friend. Wait, I might be crazy. Maybe we're not friends. I don't get that. Well, I don't... Okay. I, I'm i assuming that uh, Sarah and you, or if, even if it's on Sarah's side, I don't know, but it sounds like there's conflict somewhere. I don't know what that is. You've told me a couple of times before that you thought maybe she was mad about something or you guys had something in the past. So... I don't know what that really means. If she doesn't want you involved that way and she just wants you to present, I'm not really sure. I don't, again, I, it sounds to me like there's, so I don't know. So, so what? She wants so me like to. She doesn't, like she doesn't really want you involved that much. So she wants me to present but, and but I won't I'm make, sure why. I won't make a single penny out of this thing. Well, yeah, I think you just did with you. <laughs> you just sold one, I think. Well, I, I sold one to the event that we were supposed to be having, but I'm like, wait a minute. So what? Am I going to like start promoting you and Sarah's event and I'm going to get uh, a, a commission on the tickets I sell? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, actually, to, speaking of Sarah, she's here right now. Hopefully. So, so... You know, there was a lot, lot better ways to handle this. Well, it was there. There was, and that's for sure. And that's why I can only tell you that this kind of this was really a. We were bugged about. We were we were doing the video, and we were talking about uh, Matt and the you know the staff and some of the things we didn't like. She was saying that she didn't really want to be there, like I was telling you, but she came and whatever. And then all of a sudden, she's like, you know. I did this before. I got all the stuff. And, you know, we can do this somewhere else. That's kind of what you, we can do this somewhere else. I said, that would be great. Well, I, I would be on board with that because I'm not going to have my name tied to this. So it kind of just went like that. Yeah, but and it, do and you then, remember? And then it, we were. Tr- do you remember so, you and I had the same conversation when Sarah quit the second time? And I'm like, hey, look, we can do this. You and I can do this. And you're like, yeah, but I got a sweet deal here at the hotel, blah, blah, blah. And. I came to you, Sarah. Quit. We can do this, and you're like, "Yeah, we don't need Sarah. We uh, we can absolutely do this." What happened? Keep talking. Keep talking. I can do. 
that's ready to call you. I mean, you do realize that we, for over a month, we sold a, tickets to a retreat. People made plans. People, and look, I 100% agree. Look, and Matt knows the hotel was not on par. Yet, no one has given uh, them the close. opportunity to correct it. Nobody. Nobody has said, well, you know what? No one has done the honorable thing and said, yes, we've sold tickets, man. We've got 10. It's half sold already. No one's given him the opportunity to say, well, look, okay, we're going to do one more in June because it's already sold. This will affect your business. You're going to have to do all these refunds. You know, uh, let's do this. And then, you know, Sarah and I are going to do our thing. But no one, no one, no I didn't one, hear the last part. You know, all three of us sold tickets, sold tickets, sold tickets for June. And now, Sarah comes to you, no mention of Alan, let's go do this thing. Bam, we're going to drop the ball and, and screw Matt, screw the refunds, screw Alan. Um, we're going to go do this thing. It could have been, could have been well, handled so much better. It's well, I asked, I actually um, said, you know, what? Well, maybe we should do the one in June. And she says, no. And, and the reason I kind of went with her on that is because, I don't know, man, I have a lot to lose. I didn't like, I didn't like the event. I, I liked the event, but I was very unhappy. I got, I have, my name is right up on there and it makes me look bad. And if it got out, if some people got pissy, they could start a Facebook group and the shit would be right. And I'd have to answer to that. And so I'm like, I'm not having this because Matt is not, he's not, you really, he told me he's had 14 managers in freaking whatever, how many months. Okay. And he hasn't, he's not there. And if he's not there, he, come on. Well, yeah, he's, he's not there, but he's, he, he already told us in the get go that he's getting a new manager. So I want you to stop and think about this. Okay. By, by, by going this route, I've already sold tickets. I already got more tickets that were, were being sold and there's no consideration that that money was taken out. I'm going to lose that money. And yeah, this was my event. Yeah, no, too. it was it was it was mine and and Matt's event. Matt came to me, and I'm like, not unless I could get Michael and and Sarah. Okay, so I considered both of you. Now, in this scenario. I've actually lost money in this, okay? Now, now here's what I need you to do. Rebecca's lost money in this. M Michael, I want you to look at me, okay? And man up, dude. You knew before you even contacted me, before you even sent the email, you knew before we did the last podcast last week that, you know what, I am screwing Alan. You knew. You put a video out yesterday. Guess what? This is what we're doing you actually made comments, nah, you know, Alan's not the founder. Alan didn't do anything. He just thinking he emceed. Come on. You, you know exactly what you just come on. I I would much rather you be honest. Are you talking about the comment? I would rather you be honest, Michael, and say, look, I I know you thought we were friends, but man, look, I, I'm throwing you under the bus. Okay, it's not a friend thing, it's a business thing. It's a business thing. It has nothing thing. to do with being being friends. This did happen fast. Everything I'm saying is true. The problem is I don't want to, I, I didn't want to be between, obviously there is conflict between you and Sarah. I don't have as much conflict as she does. The only problem I have is um, as far as the event goes, I believe, and just with feedback I get about you, people find you negative so, a lot. You know, with, with, I, I heard that at the first event. I was like, whatever, I didn't hear anything you said, just people were kind of saying things off the cuff. And, you know, I think that you kind of running it kind of kind of made you think that you were the main guy, which you were. Okay, you were. I'm not saying you weren't. But I think you took it serious and you kind of had your hand in everything. You know, people like Johnny were pretty pissed at you for going up on the stage and kind of, you know, reiterating things and getting, you know. So I heard all these things. I heard all these things, and Sarah, I guess, felt kind of feels the same about, yeah, we want him, but do we want him, you know, 100% involved in every little thing? Because, yes, 
I like, I mean, again, I was happy you did what you did. I like you emceeing, actually. I like all that stuff. So I don't have a problem, but um, it's almost like too much Allen. So, guess, so is tell what, me, is what the so thing is. if that's so the if feedback, that, if, go ahead. if that's the yeah. feedback you got, when did you talk to me about it? Oh, never. And you Sarah, never mentioned it. Um, and Sarah's never said and, it. And Sarah never mentioned it. And whenever all of this attack came up, I came to you and told you, this is what I'm going to do. This is why I'm doing it. I'm going to claim it as mine. I'm going to claim it as mine. And I said, is that 100% true? No, because I always wanted it to be about us. I didn't want it to be about me. That's why I didn't MC the gonna, first one. Are we going to be able to pull this off? Because we're on now. No, want no, I, 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 I want to get this straight. I, I, you know, come, tell me why. Tell me, tell me. I, I didn't consider this. You, we, we became friends. You said, hey, let's do this. I don't benefit one hundred percent from doing a podcast. I did it because you asked. Because we were friends. I don't benefit. How do I benefit doing a podcast with Michael Allen, who's thrown me under the bus and said, hey, we don't want you a part of our retreat. I mean, come on. I mean. I mean, what do you got to say to Rebecca? I mean, do you got anything to say to Rebecca? I mean, uh, what are you going to say to Rebecca? I mean, she's blown. She cannot believe it. She's like, oh, no, Alan, you, 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 Michael would not do that to you. There's no way in the world Michael would do that. You're misunderstanding things. There's no way. That's not in Michael's character. He's not going to do I mean, I mean, I mean, Michael loves you, man. I mean, like. You know, Alan, that's why I love you so much, man. You'll get up here saying stupid crap with me, and you're never judging me. Rebecca's like, it ain't no way Michael's doing this. You got anything to say to Rebecca? <clears throat> well, I just have, I guess I can apologize for the way this went down. I, that's kind of true. That's a, I, I didn't mean, I mean, this wasn't a plan. This wasn't a plan. You knew this, this before like, the end of the retreat. You knew this it before you left. You knew this before you left. Middle of the week, Sarah had contacted you. Y'all had already planned this because you were going to stay. We were going to do the podcast on Sunday. Okay? But you changed your mind because you and Sarah had plans to go do oh, that no, thing. Oh, no, no. That had nothing to do with it. I didn't leave because of the... No, that's not true. I, I, had, I wanted to leave on Thursday. I was, so, I was so frustrated with Matt. So I was like drinking. I was like, I can't do with this. I do not like... I, I'm... I'm seeing all this bad stuff happening around me. I'm seeing shitty ass food, shitty ass stuff, getting, you know, getting complaint after complaint after complaint. I didn't, I was, I wanted to leave Thursday, dude. It was nothing that couldn't the, be I corrected. I only stayed because I only stayed because I had to do that stupid thing on Friday. I, I did not want to be there. I was totally upset. My name is the, okay, if you want to do honesty and stuff, it's a lot of times, Alan, okay, you know what? You want, you want me, dude? I'll tell you me. I get it in the back of my mind sometimes that some people want to be around me because I'm not saying I'm a big fucking big YouTuber, but I'm bigger than most, a little bigger. So no one's denied it's hard that. For me to re to, uh, wait, let me go. Let me go. Sometimes it's hard for me to understand. Is somebody hanging on with me because they like me or because I can drag them somewhere? So that's always going through my head. Now, I, whether that's right or wrong or I'm arrogant or fucking a narcissist, I don't think so. But it goes to my brain because I have been. You know, I know sometimes when people get get with me and they're just like, of course they want to fucking do videos with me, dude, because I'm bigger than they are. Not much, maybe. I'm not. Don't take that wrong. I'm not. Don't care about it. But I understand well, what I you're mean, saying. That's why you want it. I, right? understand. Is that, I mean, that's kind of true. So it's in my it's in my head all the time. People, of course, people want me at the fucking event. OK, I'm so I'm one of the bigger YouTubers in Costa Rica. No, you're the okay, biggest so YouTuber want, in Costa Rica. Too. OK, so I ask yourself, me Michael. Ask yourself, did I ever come to you and say, hey, Mike, guess who I am? Do you want to do videos together? Did I ever approach you and say, let's do videos together? I don't know. I no, know. You, I didn't. didn't. You and you know I didn't, Mike. Come on, man up. Well, we don't do. We Okay. I, I never have said, Mike, let's do videos together. You and I never met until the day you actually came to me and introduced yourself. And that was an honorable thing. Okay, there was nothing. Yeah, I, I, I never said, Mike, let's do videos together. I never had an ulterior motive. I never said, Mike, let's do a podcast together. You're like, Alan, man, we got this great connection. You you came to me. Hey, uh, Alan, let's do some videos together at the retreat. All right, cool, man. Hey, we can, we, you know, I never said, let's do this. Oh, I no, don't I have an ulterior I, I motive. I, I didn't. 
I didn't say you did any of that. I'm just saying in all my interactions with people. Well, I can like, understand you know, that, I but I want you to be used in your head. I understand what you're saying. Same thing happens to me. People want to do videos with me. I know. Okay. I'm not nowhere big as you have never claimed to be as big as you, but guess what? I know the same thing you say, but I can, I can still, I can say, well, you know what? Michael Allen's never used me. I can look at that and say, Michael's well, not I used me. I can in all honesty say, I thought Michael Allen was my friend. Michael would have my back because I've always had his back. Michael, this crap that you talk about, how your friend, you know, why, why would I ask anybody else? I trusted him. So, yeah, and then he took all this money. We practically were living under a bridge. How do you think I'm feeling? I trusted you. Shitty. <laughs> well, I, I actually do feel bad the way it's going, but then I get to go, okay, I'm, I'm pissed at Matt. And I don't want to be at his event. Sarah's offering me an option, and it's like now I got to play this thing because I don't know how I don't know where you guys have got your little because there's and no stuff. the, the conflict is that Sarah and I personalized like this, and she wanted control or something. She's pissed off because guess what? We all agreed to pay her two hundred dollars, and then you're like, I ain't paying that bitch nothing. She ain't even here. Yes or no? Yeah, I, uh, yeah of course. Yes, of course. And now you know you uh -oh. take off with her, and you're like, all right, we. We either gotta tell, we either gotta do this or tell these people we're not doing it. I mean, there's too many people lined up. Let's not be disrespectful of them. If you don't want to do it, it's fine. We can just say sorry. We're having technical difficulties or something. You want to do that? What yeah. do you want to do? No, I'll just tell them, hey, sorry, we're having technical difficulty. All right, I'll be here though. I cannot believe this many people have showed up to. Hmm? It's because of the drama. They want to see the yeah, drama. Yeah, they want to see the drama. See, look here. See. I just I want to see what I mean, thing and then yeah. I, I want to be done. Cause I don't want to be... Well, get down where you can be seen. Okay, so all I... Come a little closer. Come on this way. You can see me without seeing me. No, I want you to be seen. Oh. Go ahead. Okay. All I, I have to say is... is um, whether you know Sarah's got issues with with Alan and that's her you know that's okay and there are things you know Alan's doing what he thought he should be doing the thing is it should have been discussed you know even even if it's just discussed of, of saying um, look we don't like what you're doing and we're not willing to um, to talk about you know so that's that's what was hurtful because nobody's gonna do a hundred percent right, but without feedback, then you don't know. That's why feedback is so important, you know. She never well, said, I, she I'll never be... said those ahead. things, you know. She never said. Uh, of course, he wondered if she was mad about that, and you know he's. You know, obviously, if if we have issues. I don't know what they are because she has never said anything. And I've done nothing but encourage her and help her. I went to her and said, hey, why don't we collaborate? Why don't we do this? And she ghosted me. I'm still wondering what happened. I went to her when Matt contacted me and said, hey, look, we can do this, the three of us. She, you know, I'm tired of doing this thing. It's too much work. I said, you don't have to do any work. All you got to do is speak. I'll do all of the work. Matt, Between Matt and I, we'll do all the work. Same thing for you. You didn't have to do squat. The first three events, you did nothing but what you were expected totally to do. I agree with that. That's why I said you should get the money. <laughs> that's that, that's true. Yeah, and I actually don't mind that. you doing all that. And, and there's an agreement between y'all, so that's good. That's so. That how works. can you say <laughs> our vision, Sarah and I's vision, line up? Well, wait a minute. It didn't line up with me. Our vision is the same. There's we all have the same vision, but here's what's happened: is Sarah's like, you know what? I don't need Alan. I don't need to split money. She's pissed off because she thinks I'm the reason she's not getting $200 on every sale. 
So now it's like, I don't know what kind of deal y'all cut. And you know what? You have the right to go do what you could do. Go do. But it would have been more honorable to say, hey, Alan, look, man, I, you know, I know we got this. Well, it, would have been totally more, it would have been totally more honorable, but it kind of started getting away from me because it wasn't set in stone like you think. It, so you're t obviously you're right. I mean, there's no way I can't argue the fact that you should have been involved in the conversation somewhere. But it just kind of snowballed a little bit. It kind of got away from me a little bit because Sarah's going, hey, I got all this stuff from my last events. I got my website. All I got to do is plug this shit in. And I was like so mad. I was like, yeah, let's do it. So it kind of just it wasn't even thinking anything out. Yeah. Wait, That's one of the reasons. I, I, I can I can so understand what you're saying. It was set in stone Saturday when you and her recorded that video. It was set in stone. You knew you was going to publish mm -hmm. that video. No, no, we made there's like we made a we made a few videos. Yes, it wasn't. We were doing things, or I was doing things, just like half. half I was going with her. I was going. Yes, let's do that. Oh, I got this, this, and this. Oh, I can get some vans. And it just kind of went like that. And so you're right about like, well, shit, you know, when, when are we going to tell Alan what's going on? Are we throwing him out? What are we doing? You know, it just kind of it just kind of went this way. And then it gets then it get up. Then it got too long. It's like because obviously, you know, and it's like, OK, well, that's not coming out right. And then it's like, well, so you all, you know, who's talking to him? Like, of course, I knew this conversation was coming. I mean, I'm not stupid, you know, and I don't blame you. So I don't know where I don't know what the I don't know what necessarily the fix is. I don't I don't want to throw you out of it. I don't want you. I don't want. I would I would have rather if this would have been a perfect scenario, it would have been a discussion on how we can fix some of the things that each one of us don't like. Exactly. Yeah. You know, Even if it's just telling Alan, hey, look, dude, you're too negative. Tone down. I mean, his thing is good, bad and ugly. Bad and ugly are no, three, two-thirds of the equation. Good is only one-third. So, but he needs to be told that, you know? And, you know, and Sarah, not, you know like, <laughs> Sarah doesn't like the negative, but you and I have talked about this. And you know it to be true. You and I have talked about this. Sarah doesn't say anything negative about Costa Rica. And so I've never agreed with her channel. Okay. And you have. And the only reason I actually invited you to the retreat is because guess what? Michael Allen does talk about the negative. He does tell the truth. He's not sugarcoating it. Well, it affects Sarah's business. Well, it's, I got to admit, I, I, I did try to talk to you one time, Alan, about this one thing that did bug me. And you. I, I don't know if maybe I wasn't. Well, didn't tell say it tell right, me what it was. I, tell me what. Well, I'm getting ready to. You know, you asked me to do the cultural thing, and, you know, I worked hard. I'm not saying it was great. It definitely needs tweaked, and I, I see some things I'm definitely going to fix on it. I'm going to expand on a few things, you know, where it is going to be a little bit more kind of tend to be negative. And then when I heard you're doing that thing with the Tico thing with the mask, or when you were telling me that, I go, why are you doing that? I'm doing the cultural one. Why are we doing that? Why are we doing it again? And I said, do we really need that? And you go, I'm doing this thing. And you, now, I didn't say, God damn it, Alan, I want to talk about this. And you don't understand how mad I am. And I just kind of went, all right, man, do do your thing. I don't understand why you're doing another cultural talk after I did it. Because I guarantee, that's, I couldn't watch it, dude. I couldn't go in there and watch you because I know I would have been pissed. No. But I, I guarantee I would have been pissed. I don't even know what you talked about. Well, yeah, you don't know. And that was just it. It wasn't two cultural things. It was not two cultural things. You spoke about culture, and that was awesome. We spoke about a wow. mindset, why people do what they do. And and you know what? You could say exactly what he said. I could say exactly what he said. But guess what? No one's going to believe it like it with, like they're going to believe it when it comes out of a Tico mouth. When it comes out of a Tico mouth saying, hey, you know, never trust a Tico, and here's why. Okay? Well, that's a pretty fucking a, a terrible statement. It's I mean, the never truth. Trust a tico. That never? It's really? true. That's, a, now, that's well, now, offensive. It's, that's it's, offensive, dude. Yes, it's offensive. offensive. But it, but the, the premise was, look, we're going to give you some blanket statements. Is it true for everybody? No, because you know what? I got this guy I trust. Yeah, there are some decent good people. But in general, it's culture. Never trust a tico. Why? Because, and you know it. You know every one of them, if they get the chance, they're going to try to manipulate you, screw you, take advantage of you. So hearing it, because if I say it, uh, Alan, you're jaded. Uh, Michael, you're jaded. But hearing it from a Tico, it's like, wow. Wow. Yeah, but people coming to a relocation retreat, you know, here's what they said to me, people, dudes. Here's what they came up to me. and said, why would I move to a country where they're all trying to rip me off? But they, but 
Is, is that not what you said? Is that not what you said? You said if uh, you decide, if, if I do a retreat and I give them the good, the bad, and the ugly, and they decide not to come, I've done my job. Do you not believe that anymore? No, I do believe it, but I think you, I think you tend to be too, you, dude. Just the fact that you would say never already says you're wrong. Okay, well, yes, so and I realize true. that. Okay, I realize that, but that's why okay, I preface I to, it. I don't want to talk about that part. I don't want to talk about that part. I just want to talk about the part. I tried to bring it up. I tried to say, I don't know if we really need to do that. You, you're going to do it. You wanted to do it. So, my thing is, I think you've taken. I think you've taken your participation in it to a new level where you are the guy. You and we kind of gave it to you. That's true too. So I kind of was. I, w I actually did mention that maybe we could do some co um, MCing. You didn't seem to be wanting no, to do that. No, I, I did. I that. did. I asked you to come in there and and start that whole thing off. No, I asked. Okay, all right. I'm not going to argue those little points. I'm just saying that I, I think that Sarah, will kind of the same thing. I, I want you, I do. I want you involved. I, you're obviously an asset to fucking relocation retreats. I'm not. I'm not. I. Obviously, I mean, come on, man. People like you, they like me, whatever. They sit on here and wait for the podcast. I just think it would have it would have to be probably now that we see everything. Okay, maybe it, it does need to be chatted about. I mean, maybe our we each have to have our you know feedback more you know in the forefront. I can tell you, this got away from me. It got away from me. It got to the. It was a quick fucking conversation, dude. We were just talking about the shitty fucking match. And she just goes, well, you know, I did this before. And it did, really did flow like that. It wasn't like this big conspiracy thing. And then, okay, oh, I'll stop by your house on the way home. You, you live right there. I never saw your house. Oh, I'll make a video for you, your friend. I'll just make a, fill up a video for you. So this stuff just kind of snowballed. And then it was already too late, in a sense, to like, hey, because it's still you would still think the same you're still going to go well you fucking didn't say shit to me we matter of fact we even tried to meet with matt too we try to get this kind of out in the open and he wouldn't meet <laughs> sunday morning what do you mean he so wouldn't meet he didn't have time to meet was. sunday morning huh well, y'all actually said matt let's meet on sunday and he didn't like i don't have time i didn't I, I it was sarah sarah wanted to set a meeting with him and i said okay let's you know we can and then she, he goes i'm gonna i don't know if he said he was going to be too tired or something or maybe he knew what was coming i don't know and he just said no and sarah, sarah goes he said no i said well i guess i'll email him then at the at the time so it was going to go in that direction and then then i got went went to her house and almost next thing we know we're doing spreadsheets and shit, and i'm calling fucking transportation stuff and then it's already too late. It's already like, well, what, you know, where's Alan in this? Because you, dude, you came up. It's not like you, oh, My, Michael. And and it, you know, Sarah's got her views. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It wasn't ahead. too late until he released the video publicly. If he could have been talked to, we could have been talked to during that entire week. And you know, if there's issues. It, it just was done in a poor, Look, poor way. If it was Alan, done in a shitty yeah, way. Yeah, and Alan was done be as wrong as he wants to be wrong. I would definitely apologize for that. You know, he, he, I would all apologize the problems for that. Would be, it's never too late. But he never, never too did, late. He was right never discussed. To do the right That's thing. right. She could have told him, "Look, Alan, you took over yeah. it too much. You, um, you did this. You did that. You're too negative." Then it would have been up to Alan to say, "Nope, that's who I am." Or Alan would have could have done could have said, oh well, okay, I see your point. I'm gonna adjust, you know, to go forward. And even if she didn't even want to give him a chance, just say it. That's poor for us to watch a video, and you know, and people are commenting saying, you know, what about Alan? You know, whatever. So all just, these people are wondering, what about Alan? It should have been done public. Uh, um, and nobody was man enough to say anything. I mean, look, I'm disappointed. Shame on me for, for trusting. Shame on me for believing. But Michael Allen, you did exactly what you said you would never do. You sold your soul to the devil. Well, All for money. Because, okay, so let, let me ask you this. So if, if you were involved in this, let's say, well, let's say you agree with Buck Matt for a while, or at least, because, you know, nobody's a... a not opposed to going to use Sunset Del Mar again. 
You know, no one's like, fuck Matt forever. If he can get his shit together, it can definitely be down there. You know, but let's say moving forward. So what would you want your, how would you want this to be? If, if, if this was done right, would you be on board with, you know, relaxing your uh, part of it to where we is? If, Look, now it's, it's going to be, a, it's more I, of a team. That, it yeah, would be more I don't a need to be, I don't need to be the lead. I, if she, you know, if she's got issues with leading, she can lead. Okay. But the issue is it needs to be fair for everybody. It needs to be fair for everybody. It, and, you know, the honorable thing needs to be done. That never happened. I would never have screwed uh, Matt and, like, dude, just refund it all, you know. And if they're willing uh, to I work disagree with that. I, 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 Matt fucked up completely. I have no remorse for what's going on with Matt. I don't care about his hotel. Uh, dude. I don't care, man. I my name is I, I sold 11, 12 people, man. I do not need you. Know, I say Sunset Del Mar is great. You know, I love going down there. It's fun vacation. Look at these rooms. Look at this. He fucking dropped the ball, and I will not be part of it. And I, I agree with that. I, I we can I all agree, agree that he dropped the ball. You know, we can that's all where agree. It's not person, that's not. It's not personal. That is business. I can't be involved. Well, I can in understand that, that, but every bit of that was correctable. Okay, and so if you sold a ticket, you know, it would have been a hey. Okay, look. What do you mean correct? How is it correctable? He he already. He, well, he already told us that correct. hey, he's got a new manager. We could be there. You could take a look at the whole thing. You know, and you can see are there any improvements or not. You know. But, you know, and, uh, and it's I, like... I look at it different, dude. I look well, at it different. and I can understand you that. But, you know, it, so totally let's just forget did. Matt. Let's just forget Matt, okay? Okay, Sarah I, I've forgotten. You know, I mean, Sarah could have easily I come to me. You could have easily come to me. The right thing would have been just... I would have never done this to you, Michael. Never. I mean, she could have easily come to I me. I hear you, dude. I hear you. You know, so all I'm going to... All I can do is um, try to make it right in some sort of way that it, if, if you want to... You know, uh, I would have, I would have simply said, Sarah. If you if, want me to try to make it right, or you don't want me to make it right, you're like Michael. You, yeah, no, you, try to make I it right. I mean, because if it would have been you. me, I'd have been. Look, Sarah, unless Allen is an even team player, yeah, okay, you got problems with him. Well, let's, let's address it. <clears throat> let's address it. If you've got some real problems, let's address it. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. All right, and you can either say, Mike, fuck you, or see what goes on. I will tell Sarah that. I will go, you know, Alan should be on board and in, in kind of a, because here's what's happened. And I guess I, I do apologize for this. I want it to be a more of a teamy thing. I did. I wasn't, dude, I'm not stupid. I wasn't doing shit. I know that. I was hanging out. I thought that was kind of. No, important. that's an important part. That's, that way. that's a very but important I part. I wasn't really, I really wasn't, a, a, you know. Now that I'm seeing these things, I've been to three or four events. I see what, you know, Matt's mistakes. I see my own mistakes. I see the things I need to do. I need to step up. I need to be like I should have said, not that you shouldn't have presented that thing you presented, but I should have been more forceful. And I don't think you should do it. And then we could have hammered it out at the time. Yeah, I don't absolutely. Think I, was that. I just kind of said, dude, I don't think we need to do that. And I think I said it twice. Yeah. You said I want to do it. And I said, whatever. So no. I wasn't that. I wasn't because maybe if I would have said, God damn it. Well, I'm no, I mean, I, I mean, when it when it comes to talking things out and it's important, don't stink in chat. But you said, well, what is he going to say different than me? And I actually told you, man, you're going to like this guy. You're not going to believe he's going right, to. All right. I don't you know, I don't want to. I wasn't I'm, that wasn't my point. I'm just my point is I want to. OK, now that I'm seeing I'm going to I observe. I'm kind of like Shelly a little bit. So I watch things. I hear things. I do things. And then I'm used to like you. I'm used to being by myself, man. I'm not used to collaborating except for doing like interviews with anybody. I make all my own decisions. I go my own way. I don't look at other people's shit. I stay in my lane, all that kind of stuff. So now, obviously, everything you're saying is fucking true. There's no way I'm going to go, God damn it, now I didn't throw you under the bus. You do. I know it got away from me. I realize that, and I do apologize for that. So the only thing I can do to try to make that right is talk to Sarah. And see what she thinks about this. And I'm going to say exactly what the, it is. If you're willing to back off on, or not back off, but we kind of do this in a more democratic -y way. We we decide, I don't know, whatever it is, whatever that. Well, yeah, but, you know, you, you need know. to explain to Sarah. Do you not understand when when we did this, it was our thing. 
Alan made sure it was yeah. our thing. Alan never took over until you got attacked, Sarah, and because it hurt your business, he did damage control to help us. It was never right. about me. It was How never. How do you feel about her? How would you feel about her kind of being the lead on this? I could care less. It, you know what I, mean? I could so, care if she wants to lead that whole thing, MC. That I could care less. But the thing is, it was never talked about. I was never included, and she doesn't have a valid reason as to why. Well, I actually don't know her why's, but I'll find out here in about a minute or in the soon because I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to her about it. You know. She, Again, she, she, can had, she can't say got, a single it, it thing. It got away from me, dude. That's all I can tell you. It got away from me. and no, I She needs to realize. With, yeah, find out what's the problem. Oh, I don't like he took control. You do remember he took control because you know. quit. I don't know if that's it. I'm not sure if that's it. I don't you know, know. She needs to know. Look, I stepped up in order to protect the relocation retreat because people were like, Matt's thing. No, you know, the reason she's starting her thing is because it has literally hurt her business. She quit again. Remember the last time. This is the last straw. And I encouraged her. I said, Michael, you need to go ahead and encourage her right now. And yeah, you said, okay, I, in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and send her a video. And you did. I've always been a team player, always looked out for you. And I and look, I says, Michael, you know, you, you said I want to be more involved. I said, yeah, you do need to be more involved. I told Sarah, I'm going to change this schedule up so that it's more in line with how they would get it. And culture should be the very first thing. <clears throat> and then, of course, Matt comes up and, you know, you're like, well, I'm should be. And I, I backed you because I already told you, yes, Michael, you know, I've already talked to Michael. And when I told Sarah, she's like, well, I can talk culture. And I'm, and I'm like, well, no, I've already told Matt that he can talk culture, you know. Well, plus, plus uh, Sarah's, you know, does what she does good, and that's what she should be talking about. <laughs> you know, she, she doesn't she talk about, like, no, relocating stuff, I don't like, think she should be talking about shit. culture, you know. I don't think. No, I don't either. I should, stay, you know, stay in your lane. But yeah. The other thing that I don't think I was hurt on that I should have been more aggressive, and I didn't realize it kept happening I am not. I was not down with the real estate, and I kind of said it more than a few times. I'm like, <clears throat> but wait, why in the world are we going to fucking Mystico, dude? Wait, everyone came back and go, what did I just see a bunch of million dollar properties for? No, you you cannot say that no. unless you went. You can, and so look, it's not fair unless you went because if you went, but their perception. Alex, no, 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 no. That's their perception. You. Okay, you're not going to please everybody. So if you would have gone, here's what you would have seen. This look, obviously this stuff is for sale. We're not trying to say the whole purpose of this is because people ask how much are prices. So when we went there, this is the first place. This is the square footage. This is the property. This is the type of property. This is the price. This is HOA fees. We went to the second one. Same thing. Now let's compare the two. Okay, you get this H. You see how and compare that to other houses. Every single house, including Sarah's, was look. We looked at these properties. Two hundred dollar HOA fees. Can y'all guess how much HOA fees were here? Let them all guess. Sarah's like fifty dollars. Woo! You know, it was a whole comparison. It was not a push, 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 push sale. Never. So you, it's not fair for you to say because you weren't there. You've got to be yeah, there I'm just, to see I'm, how it you're was You're right, but I'm just going on by what people were saying. They they felt that all the properties. So were a high couple price. of people, know. a couple of people said. Although I do have a, 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 a random question for you, though. Sarah's property at, selling at three forty nine sounds extremely high to me. No, it's crazy it high, and she's crazy for thinking she'll get that. It's no way she'll no, get I, that. I don't see that property over like maybe two twenty five at the most. Absolutely. Is that true or not true? Absolutely. And okay, I offered, you know, so anyway, I just, I've offered to help Sarah in so many different ways. And you saw that and she ignored it. So how can she have a problem with me when I've offered and I've well, encouraged her? Okay, well, if we're going to, if we're going to get beyond this, if, if we can, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to just pretty much say what we just said. I'm going to go, Sarah, what, okay, what, what are we going to do you know, with, uh, you want Alan involved? Do you not want him involved? Is, are we going to be a team? We're not going to be a team. Do you just want him to talk? So are you going to say, well, he can present? But then, again, why would he come fucking up to La Fortuna to present when there's, you know, in what he's presenting, it's not like there's any money in that even yeah, back, you know. I've right never. Back in. Yeah, I get that. I understand that. I've understand. never. My whole channel has never been about, you know, come to my relocating, or come to my, uh, uh, you know. Right. 
Right. Here's my tourist packages. There's nothing wrong with that, but I've never monetized my channel. The only thing I've ever, when I did monetize my channel, it's when, look, I sell you the best information about Costa Rica, bar none. And the only reason I can do it is because I've got Michael Allen, I've got Sarah, okay, and nobody, nobody knows Costa Rica more than us. Nobody. So, um, I'm going to talk to Sarah, and we're either going <laughs> to figure this out. And I, that's the only way I can try to do to make it right. That's all I can do. You know, I, I'm not, I can't tell you what is not an option, though, for me. It is not an option. I don't give a rip if I sold 73 tickets to the next one. I am not going back to Sunset Del Mar. I am not doing anything with Matt. He totally, to me, he threw me under the bus. He knew his shit wasn't ready. He knew it wasn't ready. He should have, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually way, I'm not giving him the benefit of nothing. I will not be a part of him. I don't, and, well, I, and I can look. That that's one. fair. I three or four sold to that. Look, that's I fair. I can that. understand that. But look, Sarah would have come to me. I would have said, "Look, I can understand they dropped the ball, but you know what? I am not one hundred percent will not sell my soul to the devil. I will not do this without Michael Allen. I think he's my friend, well, and we make a we great friends, team. So I gotta, I gotta try to make it right. So that's what I'm gonna try to do." I got nothing to I got nothing to say, but I'm sorry. I mean, I think I did I did let this get away from me, and obviously I apologize for the way it happened. So yeah. all I can do is, after I took for the next two minutes, I'm gonna get with Sarah. I'm gonna go. Okay, here's what's going on, and we what are we doing? Because again, I the only thing I am going to say this did slip and slide very fast. That's my only, not an excuse, but the only excuse I have that this got away very quick. It got away very quick. Sarah's like, oh, I got this, this, and this. And I was just so mad at Matt with his hotel that I, I would have said yes to fucking Jeannie saying she wanted a relocation retreat. So uh, that's my only little excuse I have is this got away from me. It went very fast. It wasn't like, I. you might think that, oh, you knew this, you knew that. No, not really, because a lot of things weren't talked about. So I just was like, yes, yeah, Sarah, let's do it. So, and it just kind of, hey, I'll stop by your house. Let's do this. And so it kind of got, it was already going there. And then it's like, oh, shit. You know, so I, but, my only small oh, excuse, okay. it's not a very good one. I hear it. It's not a very good one. I hear it. So but, all I'm going to do. Hey, I'm Sarah, sounds good. Let's, Sarah, it sounds good. Guess what? Alan and I will stop by your house on Saturday. Did that ever occur? Uh, well, I don't know if it was quite there because it was more. No, 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 no. So we were talking about it, but I was stopping by Sarah's house to actually see her house and actually help her with the video. It was talking at the house. It was like, oh, we started talking about it some more. It kept going. It kept going. So it wasn't. It wasn't as. It wasn't as uh, preconceived or manipulative as you might uh, think it was, because it does look like that. But it wasn't quite like that. It yeah. was very up in the airy. It did. Thing. It did. It wasn't really like, look oh, we're like doing that. this, this, and this. It got to be that. Yeah. So I was like, dude, I'm. What do you want? Do you want to? If you want to, if you want to cuss at me or more or whatever you want to do, do look. it. I'm and not a. I, can, I'm, I say I'm sorry, and I can only try to make it right. Look, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not a vindictive person. Okay, you've got every right to go do what you want to do. I'm hurt. Okay, I'm disappointed. I would have never done anything like this. So look, I'm never going to scream and cuss at you. And it's like, dude, what you say? You do you, I'll do me. It's like, man, I, I, I know what I, I, I can't believe it. I, I just, I'm sitting here thinking, I cannot believe this. I understand business, you know, and that's fine. I'm still, I, I still consider you a friend. I understand what happened. I accept your apology, um, you know, because that's just how I am. And, you know, I don't want there to be any, uh, any hard feelings, but it was handled in a hurtful way, you know, but we can, can't take it back, can only move forward. But um, it just, I don't know uh, how to move forward with, with Sarah because she obviously has some very, you know, um, issues. And I don't understand how Alan. she has issues because, I mean, I'm living next door to her for months. Her child is coming to my house. I'm. I'm uh, well, it's a business thing. It's a difference. It's the negativity. It's the stuff. The same thing that, the same qualities that make you good at what you do, or the same qualities that make you not desirable in other areas. You know, so you know, I actually don't. It's, it's, it's kind of interesting. I don't even. I'm not going to bag on Sarah too much, but what is true is I actually don't really know her. 
<laughs> you know, uh, I, I got very little contact with her. And, and that's what I don't after understand. Having this, after having this discussion, I'm kind of going, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, what am I getting my, you know, maybe I'm uh, back in the yeah. wrong course in a sense. Well, the, the so not being I don't able know. to be honest, not being able to, you know, like if you have such an issue with somebody that you're, you, if you don't know them and you're not in business with them, then no big deal. Who cares? But if you you you're doing business, you owe it to that person in a way to at least discuss it. It's a very um, what would you call it a cowardly way to uh, get out of a <laughs> a situation. That was the, you know, and and yeah. I can understand she's a female. Maybe she didn't feel comfortable talking to him, but she didn't have to do it one on one. She could have done it with me there, with you there, with you know whoever there. You know, it could have been handled. The interesting way. thing is is my my. Uh, I don't know. Remember D'Angelo? He used to be in the videos and partners. All that. He he wrote me yesterday because he saw this happen. He goes, why are you partnering, partnering with her when we've heard a lot of complaints about her relocation? You know, her what she does personally, and it, which is true. We've kind of actually, people have complained to me about her. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So And so I go, I just wrote him back and I go, well, we're, I'm just collabing on the relocation retreat itself. That's a different thing. I'm not like going to start making videos with Sarah in, in like in different aspects of business. I mean, to me, if she did the relocation retreat, we're still, it, that's different. I'm not, so I said, I'm just doing this relocation retreat with her. We're not, we're not getting together that much. So, but he, I forgot about that because we used to, when we kind of barely knew her, we knew people that she worked with. And it said, yeah, yeah, we hired her, we, you know, we paid her, and you know, we didn't really thought we got our money's worth, or they would tell me a story or something. They, I don't know. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about all that. So. Well, see, at this point, Sarah's business is hurt tremendously, and and here's what probably you and Sarah does not realize: those people, they didn't attack. They didn't attack Sarah because of Matt's experience. They attacked Sarah, they attacked me because our relocation retreat was just getting bigger and bigger. We're making waves. So guess what? Yeah, you and Sarah can go do your own thing. Sarah's gonna say, okay, I'm not affiliated with Matt anymore. Let me back into Facebook groups, are they? No. Why? Because it wasn't really about Matt. It was really about You've got a relocation retreat, and it, it goes against us, your competition. The reason she's thrown out of these Facebook groups is they know she's weak, and we can intimidate her. So guess what? Yeah, you, you can go do, uh, we can all go do this thing in La Fortuna, and are they going to attack? they still going to attack. Oh, I'd agree with that. Yeah, I think so. Well, it's still going to be, you know, this, you know, I, I think I told you this, I don't know, but when I went and saw that hotel that we were thinking, you know, thinking about it just it's it's like a thousand times better i mean it's a, a literally a thousand times room staff you know it was a total well, and i was like man this is what we should be expecting right here and if we could throw that piece into this right a hundred percent agree relocation yeah now well, it, that, all right i'm, gonna, do, I'm just gonna say again yeah. i am sorry you have been right in everything you've said pretty much uh, I will when I have something to say. I I'm actually just as like you. I'm pretty upfront, but I wasn't this time. And I should have, if I wanted to say something about past stuff, like, hey, why are you doing this? I should have made it clear that I, you know, we can have, have those arguments when, when they come up. But now that I'm seeing how this all runs, I'm, I want to be part. I want to like go out, and I don't want to do that. And then we can hash those things out. But I was kind of laying low, letting you do everything, which you did. And so now. I want that changed. I'm going to apologize and I'm going to get off here like now and I'm going to be talking to Sarah within two minutes and I'm going to see what's up and we're going to, you're going to, we're going to know something and you're either going to go, Mike, you're still a dick or it's like we can work this shit out and I think we could probably work this shit out. Well, That's how I see it. Let's talk to Sarah. So, see. If you're on board, let me know if you're on board, even, even if there is a little animosity. Business is business. Look, you know, there's been animosity with Sarah on day one. I could have easily, when Matt contacted me, I could have easily said, Psh, I don't need Sarah. I don't need Michael. We can do this by myself. It has never been about the money for me. It has been about, can I get the right? I don't like Sarah. I never have liked Sarah, okay? 
But my point is, I could bring me, you, and Sarah, and we could have the best thing in the world. It's never been about money for me. If it would have been about money for me, I'd have stopped working on my house, and I'd have put out video after video after video. No, it was about priority. I got to get in this house. After I get in, I can create videos. I can promote. I'll sell more. Okay. All right. Let me uh, see if if, uh, if you're on board. If you're if we if you would still be on board with actually being. You know, the, the team. We, we got to be a team. Uh, it's got to be 100% team. It's got to be, she's got to be 100% transparent. Here's how the money goes. Here's how it's getting paid. Here's how everybody's got on the same page. Now, I have to say this about, right. about Alan. If you tell him it's okay and you tell him to take the lead, he's not just going to take the lead. He's going to take it over because he takes responsibility very well. You know, if you don't want I would agree. to take I would the agree lead, with that. don't I would have give no problem. him the lead. You know, again, I like that that he did that. Yeah, somebody's okay, got to so, do it, you know, and it's not Yeah, me. let me talk, let me talk, to, let me see where, where we're at, and I'm uh, going to, uh, well, we'll I'll, 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 I'll call you right back. I'll just wait, around. I'll just, I'll get a hold of you. I'll, look, my phone's on. I'll get on. a hold of you within an hour. Well, all I'll right, I'll be waiting on you. All right. All right. I'm out. Ciao. Now, I know that in Michael's mind, he made it right by convincing Sarah to let me back in. Now, as much as I had wanted it to be right, as much as I had wanted it to work out, it kept going over and over and over in my mind the wrong that had happened. And so I kept thinking again and again. And if you think about it like this, you live next door to your neighbor. You're going on vacation. You ask your neighbor to house sit, take care of your pets. You come back from vacation a week later, and when you go in, you discover that, hey, you've been robbed. Your house wasn't ransacked, but you know you had a couple of thousand dollars kind of hidden in the nightstand, and it's gone. You tell your neighbor, and he's like, man, I can't believe it. I mean, I was there every day feeding your pets. Uh, I, I never saw anyone. And when you confront him, he denies and he denies and he denies. But then when you show him video, because he didn't know you had a hidden camera, now he's like, oh, I'm sorry, man. Uh, and, I, and I'd give you the money back, but I've already spent all that money in a new business endeavor I'm doing. And I can't. Well, you know, I can forgive that person. But I would be very foolish to get into business with someone who has, who I can't trust and who is only, in my mind, I'm thinking, when's the next time? When's the next time I'm going to get thrown under the bus? If someone robbed you, would you go into business with them? I know he thought he made it right, but it was impossible to make it right. We're friends. We're friends. Friends don't do that to friends, but I did do it to him and I and I felt very bad about it because he was kind of left out. And if you guys know, we have a podcast every Sunday and we had one yesterday. It was supposed to start. But before the podcast uh, started, me and Alan got, I would say, got into it.